Hey everybody, how you doing? Larry here. Um, and I have a channel about guitars, as you can see. But today I'm going to be talking about um, how to use the Canon M50 as a webcam, to uh, which allows you also to live stream with, you know, uh, 1080p quality or, you know, better quality um, video. So. I'm recording on my Canon M50 now through a software called Ecamm. And I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get this software. But this Ecamm software allows me to um, live stream to Facebook, um, YouTube, several others. Actually, let me bring up their page. You can they have Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Periscope. Restream.io, Twitch, Switchboard listed on their site. So it's Ecamm, E-C-A-M-M. -M. I've been using them for a while. Um, and they now support Canon cameras. So I have the Canon M50. So that's the one I'm going to talk about today. But Canon DSLR cameras, apparently they all work. But let's use, I'm going to use the Canon M50. I also am using my iPhone as a second camera and that is running through the Ecamm software as well because I want to be able to show you my Canon M50 that I'm looking at now um, the Canon M50 you know display screen that I can look into over I mean, you can't see it over here but I'll show it to you because it it allows me to use the the, um, the dual pixel autofocus right all right, so let's get into how to do this. So I'm trying to record this all in one shot. I don't, this is just, I'm going to do it in Ecamm, do the recording, put the video on YouTube. That's what I'm going to do. I don't want to edit it. I just want to try to make the whole thing in one shot and show you as much as I can. So what you need to do this is the, and I'm going to switch to the iPhone camera. And I'm using the iPhone camera so that you can see the E see the Canon M50 um, hooked up all right they work at the same time and I'll maybe I'll show you on the uh, I hooked up my iPhone camera as a camera 2 and I can hit it with a shortcut on my keyboard to switch between the two cameras so don't mind the shaking of the iPhone sorry about that nothing I could do about it this is real this is real um, all right, so let me bring my iPhone up. And if I go to Command 2, yeah, that went well. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Command 2. Oh, switches to the iPhone. So I'm what I what I'm using is a a uh, software called uh, this Echo Cam HD. You could You can't see it. Can you? Yeah, you can. My bad. Echo Cam HD. I downloaded that. I got the paid version because I didn't want the ads and stuff to show up in the video. So, But there's a free version that turns your iPhone into a webcam as well. We can, If you want to hear more about that, we can do that another day. So let me see. Here it is. It's connecting. Beautiful. I'm gonna change the setting, better quality, I'm done. So, sorry about the shape there. There you have it, there is the Canon M50. And I'm using a the EFM 22 millimeter lens. I'll hold up the box for that in a minute. Well, here, this is the lens I have on there. I like the lens that comes with it too, but here's the cool thing. I am using the this mini USB cable mini or micro I don't it's really small there's two on the side there's HDMI and there's USB I'm using USB using the USB on this camera allows me to keep all the information up here I could touch the quick setting I don't know why I lost that there probably move my move my wire anyway I can use the autofocus I can click on that I could see myself if you use the HDMI wire, you have to hide all the, all of this stuff, and I like to see it. I like the, you know, it's good. 
You have to hide all the stuff so it doesn't show in the picture. But if I use the USB cable, it shows up here where I can see it and I can touch it and change the autofocus and whatnot. But it doesn't show in on the video, right? Perfect, right? So that runs out of the camera and I have it plugged in down here into a uh, USB hub. Um, usually I just have it go directly into the USB. I don't usually use two cameras, but today I'm running my iPhone so that I can show you this stuff and I'm running just the lightning cable into the USB there. And I'll show you the Ecamm software real quick. The Ecamm software has, you see the cameras has my M50, the iPhone, and I set up, oh, you can see over, over here, I put, um, you know, the Canon M50, the iPhone, you can play videos. Um, so you can see the shortcuts there where it says, you know, it has the command one, command two. So here, I'll go back to the M50 with command, here, let's do it here, command one. You got to be on the Ecamm software though. Here we go, command one. All right, so there we are, we're back to the, the M50 video, which is good, and I'll leave it at that so I could stop shaking everything around. And uh, you know, I showed you what you needed to see. Oh, I do got to show you one more thing. I have so let me go back to the iPhone real quick so I could show you one more thing. There we go. Okay, so also what I have is I got a power adapter that plugs in to the batter, the bottom of the battery caveat. So when you take your battery in and out, there's a little thing that thing that you could pull back, a little rubber piece, you could pull it back and it has a hole through it. That's so that you can hook a power adapter in. Now the power adapter comes with a an empty shell that looks like a like a battery but it has a little hole in the bottom. So you take the empty shell, you plug it up through the can into the Canon M50. Well, remove your battery, right? Plug that up in there. Close the the bottom of the uh, of the camera up. Let me see if I can get that in there. Sort of, sort of. There you go. You close the bottom of the camera up, you move the rubber piece to the side. See how I have it moved to the side over here? And you plug it in. And that gets me past that half an hour mark. You know, like if you're using your camera um, with the battery in, it's gonna stop recording after a half hour. Well, it stays on with this. So that's a nice feature. All right, so let me switch back to the Canon M50. Command one, there we go. So what else did I, I showed you the, the lens I'm using. I did, that's just for, let me see. See, now let me focus on it. There we go. No, focus back on me. So this lens just gives you like a little bit of a, it allows me to go to this F2. I'm not a big camera guy. I'm learning this stuff. But it allows you to bring it down to an F2 where the, the kit lens I think is F4. So this lens I think lets in more light without getting the background grainy, but it gives you that nice blurry background. All good. So I think I covered it, right? You need, you got a Canon M50, the power adapter is helpful because you won't hit, you won't bump up against that uh, shutoff time. Um, micro or mini USB cable that fits into the side of the Canon, right? Ecamm software, which I'll link below. And if you want to use your iPhone, which I thought, I just did this today. So I got dual cameras. I might use this on videos in the future. You need that software, uh, Apple Cam, Apple Cam HD. I, I, I just looked up iPhone webcam in the app store and that came up and, um, they have a free version and the paid version. Well, I'm using the paid version. So like I said, I will, um, link to the Ecamm software below. It does some other cool stuff, which I'll, you, 
which I'll play now. So you can also make with the, the Ecamm software, you can do uh, any videos you want to play within your or, or lower thirds or things like that. You can you can make those um, you know commands on your on your uh, you can set them up so you can play them when you're doing your videos when you're live streaming. So you can also share your desktop and things like that if you're a gamer. But let me do like um, let me see command five. Oh, but see, I don't have a camera picked. Hold on, camera. There we go. So you can see when I do it like that. And, I made this graphic to subs to uh, sub subscribe below, which I hope you all do to my channel. If you like guitars, please, um, you know, sub, hit the like button, and uh, hit the notification bell. I put out videos once in a while, and you'll get notified. But you can hit that button. I can go back to my camera one. Um, I could switch to the iPhone camera again. Let me let me see. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what it's looking at at the moment. Oh, it's reconnecting. There we go. Command 2. iPhone camera. Pretty cool. I like that feature. Um, I What else do I do? Oh, I have my guitar intro, which I usually play in my live show. I'll, I'll play that for you. So that's uh, Command 3. And then I come back to my camera. So great picture. That's how you that's how you live stream or use your Canon M50 as a web camera. Uh, what else? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Ecam is a, is a, un unfortunately for for um, Windows computer users, Ecam runs on a MacBook. Sorry. Um, I have had it for probably had the Ecamm software for almost a year now and they they put out a lot of updates and this Canon camera update was was in the most recent one just like last week it was great so happy about it so I want to make a quick video get it out to you show you how to do it um, if you have any questions if I get enough of them if there's interest I can get into this a little more but I, I think this shows you pretty easily how you can use Ecamm live software to uh, run your Canon M50 as a webcam for purpose of, you know, recording video, live streaming, etc. All right, everybody. I'm Larry. Thanks for watching. And please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you soon. And let me go to my fancy ending here, Command 7.